visitar a igreja, aqueles que nos visitam. Visit us with the peace of the Lord and those who can stand. Samuel, the second book of Samuel, chapter 9, starting in verse 1. Samuel, second Samuel, second Samuel, chapter 9. We're starting in the verse 1. And the word says, Now David said, Is there still anyone who is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness of Jonathan's sake? And there was a servant of the house of Saul whose name was Ziba. So when they called to David, the king said to him, Are you Ziba? He said, Are you Ziba? And then the king said, is there not still someone in the house of Saul to whom I may show the kind of God? And Ziba said to the king, There is still a son of Jonathan who is, who is lame in his feet. So the king said to him, Where is he? And Ziba said to the king, Indeed, he is in the house of Maki, the son of Amel, in Lodibar. Then King David sent, sent and brought him out to the house of Maki, the son of Amel, from the Lodibar. Now he may be so bad the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, had come to David and he fell his face and prostrated himself. Then David said, May people said, and he answered, He is your servant. So David said to him, Do not fear, for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan for your father's sake. And I will restore to you all the land of Saul, your grandfather, and you shall eat bread at my table continually. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we glorify your name. We bless your name because one more time we're here in your presence. We came in the trials and during the day, during the week. But we're here because of your love, but you, because of your grace. We bless your name for this opportunity to render all our love and adoration. And we ask, the Lord, that uh, your word speaks to our heart in a special way, blessing, operating, delivering. We ask for this blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. You hear me well now, Steve? Right. My brethren, the text that we read, it speaks, speaks about a man that they had everything in his life success, to be successful, success, to be successful, to, 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 to do right. It was a man that has a, a that comes in from a, a, a royal family. He had a future already traced. Certainly when he, he was born, he knew that one day he was going to be king. He lived in the palace. But, but because of decisions, because of some choices, that man, Mephibosheth, he lost everything. He, he no longer had his inheritance. He no longer lived where he should have lived. His future was not certain like it was before. The word says that when he was a child, you heard his physic was, but he wouldn't walk because he dragged it, because he was physical problem. He was taken from a place to Odebar, where the word means a, a dry place, a place without food. This man literally becomes an ice. A homeless. He lives in a forgotten way under the care of someone else 
without any family. Nem para notar a sua falta, Even to notice his, you know, that he was missing, they wouldn't notice. And why we say that? Because the life of the man, he was, was traced to be successful. God, when creates the man, he creates the man to be next to him. He creates the man to, for the man to be, to be with the Father, with God. But because of the man's choices, he gets away. Even the place where he should have lived, he didn't. He wasn't living. And because of those choices, that man, he lives in a dry place. Because this world out there, and the world that we live on, the, the more success the man looks for, he, even though they, they look for success, even for a good place, a good life, this is a dry place. No. Oh, we didn't come here to, to speak about it. Mephibosheth was in the society. But you that came here tonight, the king has not forgotten about you. The world has not forgotten about you. Your family could be forgotten about you. But the king has not forgotten about you. You came here tonight. Because, because the king was waiting for you. He was anxious, waiting for your presence. Because you, different from what the word says, you are chosen for the God. This man sees the presence of David. And David, and with everything that had happened in the past, David treats him as he should be treated, as a, as a king's son that prophetically speaks from brethren that you came here tonight. Perhaps we don't, we don't feel that we deserve, but we're the king, we're the son of the king. My brethren, we came here tonight, like the, the like the Lord showed. We drag him. Yes. Trying to get up. Try to walk. Try to walk ahead. Try to head of the trials that come up, that come on, but a lot of people don't let you. But tonight, like the King of David say to that man. The Lord wants to restore you. He wants to give you that what's the right of a man for those who accept the salvation of the Lord. The right of the man is is the place that's preparing eternity. You, Brandon, you came here. You were created not to live in this world, but it's to walk in the golden ways, to be with the Lord, to the golden streets with the Lord. The king, the king is here tonight. He wants to take care of you. And you that you on the ground, he wants to, he wants to lift you up now. It's interesting that at the end of the chapter seven, David said, "I'm going to give you everything that's right. You, you were one day son of a king. You have a blood of a king." But, but something interesting in the verse 7 that and you shall eat bread at my table continually. Maybe you're hungry tonight because your, the place you were was a dry place. I'm going to feed you and then you go. No, it will be continually fed. You that came here tonight if you are hungry for something new, if your soul is hungry for something new, if you're thirsty, you're going to be sitting at the table of the king. 
you are invited to be in the presence of the Lord, not only tonight, but tonight, tomorrow, next week, until Jesus comes. This is the invitation from the Lord tonight. Tonight is the salvation night. It's a transformation night. You came here in that situation. You're going to be transformed tonight because the love of the Lord has found you. We're going to adore the Lord with your son because you, you are special for God. You are not forgotten. The world out there has forgotten you. The family forgot you, but the king has not forgotten you. Hallelujah. Amen. Sits on the table. Who didn't know him? 
thought everything was normal. We're not perfect. We have our limitations. But when we sit in the table with the king, nobody sees our our errors. What the king sees is our soul. The, sh the Lord showed tonight a man in these situations trying to get up, trying to walk, but he can't. He can't. He can't keep a step forward because his life is complicated. He has to adapt his life before that situation. And he remembered, mm, my life wasn't like that. And in other words, yeah, we have some board for that. One hand would lift him up from that situation. That's the hand of God. And this, with the feeling of this man, it's because it's his soul. His soul missed the king. My brother, the king is here tonight to lift us up. Like he said in the beginning, the Lord showed that. And when we are in the direction to the pulpit, the altar, trials would, would come along like a storm. Many of us, we go, we went to, we faced some trial this week, different type of situations, health, many, many things try to prevent us from being here. But the same hand that lift up the man from the powder is the same hand that sustained the church. It's the same hand that brought you here. It's the same hand that's going to take you home. The same hand that's going to take you to work. It's the same hand that's going to take you to the heaven. It's the same hand. My brother. The king is present. We're going to have a glorification in the name of the Lord. Because this king has not forgotten us. He has taken care of us. And now king is our father. is our friend. is our helper. He is the one that provides. We're going to have a glorification from the Lord. This, this king deserves all the honor, glory, all the songs. Once one life is going to get up and glorify the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, O Lord. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you to be seated in your presence. Nothing has been, you have provided everything, everything to our lives. Glorify is your name. For your holy. We're not worthy. You have poured our grace, blessed because of your mercy, because of your salvation. Each day you have saved lives. Blessed be your name, O Lord, because of your salvation. To reign with you in the glory. To sing you eternally, bless your name in your presence among our lives. In the name of Jesus, amen.
Let's stand up, Reverend. Dear Lord, we bless your name for this service, adoration to your name. Our songs, we know that you have come in your presence. We know for the faith you have returned. Blessing for each one of us. Please receive our adoration. Take us in on your peace that we can have a resting night in your presence that we can be visited with dreams, with gifts to receive, to receive your orientation. Please speak with each, each one of us that your hands can be extended in, uh, upon your church is to, is to pray that we say in the name of Jesus, in the name that the wonderful grace of our, our Savior, which the, the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit be poured upon you for now for Amen. Amen. Please be seated. spoken a lot, has taught us a lot of the mysteries and doctrines to all the peace of the Lord. <laughs> 